since 1979, SPCA Florida has been a 501c3 nonprofit organization headquartered in Lakeland. They're dedicated to improving the lives of pets and people in the community. SPCA Florida provides caring, compassion, and hope to more than 4,000 homeless animals entering their doors each year. Coming up on Polk Place, we'll talk with them about SARC. Don't know what SARC is? Stick around, you'll find out. It's all coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place, I'm Brian Lacey and joining me in studio is Jordan Levine. Jordan Levine is the SPCA Florida Volunteer and Community Resource Manager. Welcome to the show, first time on. Yes, it is. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, and you have a, a guest in your hand. Yes. I think that's uh, Frenchie. It is Frenchie. Yeah, what can you tell me about Frenchie? So, Frenchie is almost three months old. Um, she is kind of a squirmy little lady. She doesn't like to sit still, um, but she is definitely up for adoption. She's a little tuxedo and she's just waiting on her home. She's spayed and ready to, ready to go. Yeah, she's. Uh been kind of wild here in the studio. We uh, we let her out front to play. We let her in the studio to play. There was a little uh, rodeo action going on, but we finally corralled her. Um, she Slightly. already have all of her shots, and she's been neutered. Is that correct? She's been spayed. Mm, yeah, spayed. Okay. Yep. And yep. she's ready to she's go. Ready. How can uh, people find out more information about her, or uh, even go see her? So she is on our website, which is spcaflorida.org. Um, they can also go to our website to schedule an appointment where they can come visit her at the shelter and they can adopt her from there. Okay. <laughs> well, what we want to talk about is SARC. Uh, we heard it in the opening. What exactly is SARC and what does it mean to the residents of Polk County? So Florida SARC, it stands for Florida State Animal Rescue Coalition. Um, kind of a mouthful. But the point of it is to help animals that are affected by disasters um, here within Florida, but we also help out nationally as well. Um, so of course here in Florida, our major disaster would be hurricanes. So we are able to train volunteers to actually deploy to hurricane sites and they are able to help animals that are affected by those disasters. Um, we also help out with disasters that are man-made as well. So things like cruelty cases, hoarding situations. So our volunteers are trained um, to be the boots on the ground to actually help during all of those disasters that we see animals affected by here in Florida. I think Frenchie's done being held. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. Now when you say train for situations, what are we, what are we talking about training for? So we do trainings. Um, we do have two different levels. We have an um, awareness level course and an operations level course and what we do these are actually FEMA approved trainings and the state of Florida also stands behind those trainings so we learn about um, incident command systems so that we can integrate into the government while helping them as well um, and we train our volunteers to kind of animal handling as well during this um, creating a temporary shelter um, because during disasters there is too many animals for the standing shelters that are already there. So we actually create temporary shelters and then we're able to care for the animals there as well. So volunteers go through these trainings and learn all about that. Um, if they want to move forward into the operations level where they're actually leading those efforts, um, they can go through those trainings also. One of my favorite words I heard you say deployed. So talk a little yes. bit about what they can expect in the event that they're uh, deployed. So deploying can be um, a couple different things. So we either deploy here locally, um, so we could have something happening right here in our backyard. Um, we also, the first week that we took over Florida Sark, we actually deployed volunteers to Louisiana. So they hopped on planes, they went up and they helped animals that were affected by Hurricane Ida. So we were in shelters helping with them. Um, so it could mean that they're driving to their back door helping, 
or they're actually going elsewhere on a plane, um, driving somewhere, but they're going to a shelter elsewhere to actually help those animals that are affected. So if somebody's interested in joining you, what's the process and then how long does it take and what does it entail? So the process right now, we are in the midst of creating our training schedule for 2022. So we'll be kicking that off, which will be on our website. Um, so they can either find that at spcaflorida.org or they can actually find it at floridasark.org as well. And we will have a training schedule. They're able to sign up for that class. Um, we are gonna be hosting classes throughout the state of Florida. So even if they're in Miami, they will have a class near them um, with one of our partners. And so they're able to attend, then they become a volunteer of ours trained and we're able to start deploying them as crisis kind of comes our way. So it's just dependent on what is going on at that time. Now this volunteer is going to be obviously totally different than say the person that comes in and you know kind of cleans up, feeds up, that's kind of on a, on a limited basis right. or whatever their schedule allows. This will entail a little bit more time. Talk right. about that if you would please. Yeah, so at any point in time, we could be right now, nothing is going on. So they may just be on standby for a while, but when disaster strikes, um, of course, it could be kind of out of nowhere where, you know, a hurricane comes and we need help right away. And so, <laughs> as you said, as disaster strikes and a cat thump, 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 thump. <laughs> yes. I think she knows you're talking about her. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> She's coming back this yep. way now. Um, but as things happen, so a hurricane or um, there was a kind of a cruelty hoarding case that happened up in Clay County. They just reached out to us right when that happened and we deploy those that are able to go right at that moment. So you kind of have to be on standby and ready to go when something happens. Of course, with hurricanes, we kind of know they're yeah. coming. Got a little so bit of warning. We got a, yeah, a little bit of warning. So those that are, you know, Florida Sark trained can see, all right, there's a hurricane coming. I'm going to get myself prepared so that I know if I am called upon, I'm able to actually help. Where can they call to become a part of this? Uh, who do they call? Who do they talk to? So they can call me. Um, so they're able to talk to me in regards to that. And my direct line is 863-577-4609. Um, or they can email me as well, which would be jlevine, L-E-V-I-N-E, at spcaflorida.org. And also they can look it up on the web Yes. At spca.org. Yes, they can. And let's rewrap. Uh, wow, uh, she found Thumper. <laughs> Fr Thumper found the Thumper slash uh, Frenchie found the plants <laughs> from the Serengeti Plains. <laughs> um, where can people find out more information on her? <laughs> they can check her out on our website, which is spcaflorida.org. Um, and they can actually see more about her and also make an, uh, make an appointment to come and visit her and hopefully adopt her. Well, Jordan, you did really good for your first time in. I want to thank you for coming in. Thank you. All right. We'll see you again next time, all right? Absolutely. SPCA Florida exists to eliminate animal suffering and to engage the entire community in the welfare and well-being of animals. They accomplish this by advancing model programs to promote the adoption of healthy animals, prevent dog and cat overpopulation, provide veterinary medical services for animals in the community, and keep animals in the homes through relinquishment intervention strategies. Now, if you need more information on any of their programs, what I want you to do is give them a call, 863-577-4608, or look them up on the web at www.spcaflorida.org.